Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. You caught me boot scooting. Speaking of boot scooting. This is the Hezo Max G30, a Chinese knockoff of a Segway scooter. We're gonna unbox it, take a look at it, and compare it to the Segway E2 Plus and see where your money is better spent. Ooh. Well, that was easy. All right, so the assembly is very difficult, as you can see. It comes with a little Hezo branded bag, potentially to hang on the, the down tube here and, and put your drinks in it. Please drink and scoot responsibly. Charger, tool kit, QR codes. You can find the four screws in the included tool kit. They're Allen's. Look at that. All right, so now we've got three scooters in our comparison. This is the Ninebot E3 Plus. This is the AliExpress orange scooter, and behind it is the AliExpress yellow scooter. This is the one we just unboxed, the G30 Max. This is the HT T4 Max. So my brother already owned this one, and we ordered two more, one for myself and one for him. I was thinking they're gonna be the same, duplicates of each other. This one, you save a few dollars off of this yellow one, um, but I was hoping, oh, that was just a good deal, but they are actually, instead of being the same, they are actually different. This one, you can see the pipe just goes down into there and doesn't have that nice beefy weld that this one has. The shocks are a little bit bigger on yellow scooter. The, this one has a little bit smaller shock range. On the cheaper scooter, the handle is actually skinnier and it's all cylindrical. So this can actually turn if your bolts come out, for example. This one is tapered, so it only goes in one way, which I like. The light on this one is up here on the top of the handlebars, and this one is underneath. Let's see, on the orange scooter, the kickstand is towards the back, and on the yellow scooter, it's towards the front. Overall, the yellow one just looks a lot more well put together. Comparing the computers, if you turn on the yellow scooter, the screen is nice and clear. And looking over at the orange scooter, it, it, it looks like it has the exact same display, but behind a layer of Vaseline. When you bring in the Ninebot, it looks like it has the best display of the bunch. That might not be showing up very well on camera because of the refresh rate, but it just looks nice and pretty. It's a big two and a half inch screen. Now let's compare these things. The set. Get your feet out of the frame. The Segway Ninebot E2 Plus has underglow lighting, which you can see lighting up right now. It has a top speed of 15.5 miles an hour and a range of 15.5 miles. It's only got 8.1 inch tires compared to the other guy's 10 inch tires and can go up a 15% grade. The max power is 300 to 500 watts and it retails for 399, but you can find them on sale sometimes for about 50 bucks off. I'll put a link in the description. The orange scooter has 10 inch tires. It has a max miles per hour rated at 21.7. The range on this one is 37 miles compared to the 15.5 of this one. So it should be a little faster and go for, well, about twice as long. And now the Chinese yellow scooter, otherwise known as the HTT4 Max. This seems to be a very well-built Chinese scooter. It's got a 36 volt, 15 amp hour battery. The motor power is 350 to 500 max. It'll go up a 25% gradient. Its range is 34.175 miles. And the yellow one on paper is slightly slower than the orange one at 20.5 miles per hour max speed. But specs on paper don't matter, let's take them for a ride. All right, first up, we've got the Segway 9 bot that my brother is helping me film on behind me. There. I am on the orange scooter, and as you can see, I'm going way faster than him. All right, so straight line speeds, the orange scooter wins. Let's see what top speed we can hit. All right, we're up to 22 miles an hour. I've topped out at 15 miles per hour. That was all action packed. Let's get yellow scooter. We've got the yellow scooter and it is on sport mode with fully charged battery. Let's hit it. When it engages the cruise control, it actually makes a beeping sound. So you know that it's engaged. That's, That's pretty nice. nice. It also seems to start off from nothing, so you don't have to kick it if you don't want to. And let's do this. 
got to get it in miles per hour. It's in kilometers per hour, but it went 38. Whatever that is. You're gonna have to use an app. I think we're gonna have to use an app to change it. Use the metrics. Okay, so what is, what did I say, 38? I think so. What is 38? If I had to guess, yeah. based on nothing, 22. 23.6. Oh. So, so far, this is the fastest one yet. It definitely feels more comfortable than probably either of the other two. The front shocks do a lot to absorb all these bumps. Did you get that kid blowing that stop sign? We're gonna have to send that to the police. That's going to the cops. These tires, without an inner tube, are nice for maintenance, but when you hit a rough patch, it is Rumble City. You can feel it right in your eyeballs. And that's where you don't want to feel it. Let's swap these. This is your new Scoot. Max right. Scoot Potential. Let's I see what am you excited. think. Are you going to buy one of these? No. I'm just going to upgrade, You're gonna upgrade mine yours. It's cooler until than it's yours. like this. All right. <laughs> but yeah, that would have been a better platform to start out with. All right. So now my brother is on the Chinese yellow scooter. Let's see what he thinks. It's pulling away from me. Hopping right back on to the Segway. It's a lot bumpier. The, whatever form of suspension they have does not seem, and maybe it's not, hot to look, does not seem to do much for the bumps. Wait up! That thing is way faster. I hit 40. Oh, he hit 40. You hit 40 KPH? KPH. What is that? No one knows. That's like 25 miles per hour. How'd it feel? That's about as fast as I want to go on a scooter. Yeah. We should overvolt it. How fast do you think we can make it go? 60. <laughs> KPH? KPH. Maybe, maybe MPH, if we're lucky. Oh, we got a car coming. Oh, no. Game off. There we go. What do you think? It is a smoother ride. Far fewer eyeball jiggles. And I can turn this. Look at that. Into the sunset. Oh, this is cool. This is gonna be like a cinematic moment. Wow, the sun's not really setting. How do the brakes feel? Uh, not quite as good as the Segway. Yep, the Segway so far has the best brakes, but we also haven't dialed in the Yellow Scoots brakes. Someone's burning some wood. Yeah, someone's wood burning. Yeah. The Segway has regen. And these, oh, you, these other ones don't? might have regen, but we haven't connected to the sketchy Chinese app to know. Well, even if they don't, Let me pace the other way. they go I'm quite as far. Yeah. So. You don't really need regen when the range is way better. Should we face orange versus yellow? Yes, yeah, sure. Let's go get, a, get yellow, orange. Let's get one of them. Oh, the orange has a little bit more acceleration. It might be due to the weight, but we'll switch here it in a might second. Be. And see. Yeah. So far, orange is winning. Although it doesn't sound as nice and it doesn't feel as nice. I hear my fender rattling. I hear yours too. Yeah, this he might be, be a catching weight. up. He weighs a little more than Dang. me. I'm gaining on you. So that's probably part of it. Hello. 36 kilometers an hour. What are you? I'm at 22 miles per hour. Oh, man. And you're passing me. Yeah, but doesn't it feel better to know that you're going in miles per hour? All right, we swapping. He is on the orange Vaseline scooter. I should have rung the bell. I... Yeah. Oh, that one's deeper. Yeah, harder to hear. Yeah, that's a big difference. Your wheels are sparkly. What? Yeah, you have sparkly wheels. This See? one? Yeah. Oh, they are sparkly. Are mine sparkly? We'll get in the sun. Look at the glitter on those wheels. Hey, you're blocking my sparkle. Yeah, I'm sparkly too. Okay, we're both sparkly. All right, guys, well, there you have it. For my money, I'm buying the yellow Chinese scooter. It seems to be the best bang for your buck. It's slightly cheaper than the Segway. It's a lot faster. It has twice the range. And it seemed to be the best one in this test, as well as the best built. So there's really no downside unless you're wanting, you know, warranty and customer support and stuff like that that the Segway would give you.
I'll have links to all of these in the description. Check them out.